So you can see to your left hand side, Braintree Town dressed in their orange colours. To your right is Aldershot Town dressed in their black away strip. Or back underway. Cooper towards the box and Effiong looked to have won the header. And it was then Langston and then Louis Annesley. A chance goes begging for Braintree Town. He just couldn't find a target. And Aldershot can breathe. And Aldershot making a race of it down the right hand side. It's played to Widrington, just outside the 18-yard box. Widrington, the ball across to Ryan Jones. It is Ryan Jones! Who was crisp? The visitors have found their way through. And as they ebbed and flowed ever closer to the Braintree goal, it was Ryan Jones who found the back of the net. Within minutes, Jones steering it towards the box, but Grimwood was bettered. But it came to nothing in the end. Aldershot Town letting a chance go begging. And Tyler Frost, who is enraged with himself there. Seemed like it was great work from Kai Corbett. Jones, the goal scorer, the difference maker in this game so far. He finds Henry. And it's so well worked from Aldershot, but that is a tremendous save from Lucas Kovlin. That is the sort of nifty play that got them a goal in the first half, Aldershot. It's an indirect free kick. And now out wide to Shea Cooper. Cooper, he delivers the ball into the box. And Braintree Town have their goal. Listen to the relief at the clubhouse end. Kirill Lisby makes the impact from off the bench. Relief, rigour here in Essex. Aldershot Town are pegged back. Carol Lisby has a goal in iron colours. And that long, long wait for a Braintree goal comes to an end. Macoma still. He finds Jones out on the left-hand side. Jones cutting in. It's back to Christian Macoma. And in the end, it was a deflection from his own player. And Braintree Town riding their luck. Look at Barham winning back. So Cooper. sort of delivery is going to come of this. Grimwood got there, Akinde then got there, and somehow Langston couldn't find the target. I think it was a deflection in the end, and it must have been, because the referee, Wayne Cartnell, has pointed for another corner. You can't say the Iron have not had their chances in this game. His delivery is eventually greeted by John Akinde. Akinde to Clampin. Annesley, he got ahead to it. Joe Grimwood then did. And again! Again for Braintree Town! It's Kirill Lisby! On his back is Braintree Bedlam. National League season. Pressing Road has its prayer. And this Essex side could be, just could be, nearing a fabled win. And 
so Aldershot will take to your right hand side. Dewhurst has made it into the Braintree half. The ball is delivered into the box. The first header was an Aldershot one. The second one was an Aldershot one. The points though went to Braintree. The feeling, the winning feeling in the National League. It's Braintree Towns again. The hero, the man of the hour, was Kirill Lisby. It was his grace that was the difference maker in the face of the clubhouse ends. It was his goals that overcame the shots. And in Essex, the Rare Breed Meat Co Stadium, we say thank you for your company tonight. And we say that Braintree Town have overcame Aldershot Town by two goals to one.